Hi, so this is a guide on how to remove mouth clicks from your recording using Audacity or you can use any other software as most of them have very similar tools to Audacity and you can apply them as well. Right, so on purpose right here, I made a, a couple of mouth clicks. Right, so the first thing I like to do is go to the multi view, enlarge it, enlarge the whole recording so I can see better what's happening here. So, right here, let's listen to this. Right, I on purpose made a couple of mouth clicks right here. So, if the mouth clicks are appearing in between you speaking, in between your vocals, you can just simply select them and apply the amplify effect. You can also find it right here. I just happen to have a shortcut for it as I use it quite often. Right, and you can remove it just like that. However, if, if it, the mouth click is, let's say, if it was somewhere right here when you are speaking, it would be, you couldn't apply the Amplify tool as it would remove uh, something from, from your vocals as well at the same time. And for that reason, we have a very useful tool, which is called Click Removal. Honestly, I like the Adobe Audition Mouth Click Remover, remover uh, a tool much better, but Audacity has a decent one as well. Now there are two ways you can use it. You can either apply it to the whole recording. So that, that would be a quick way of doing it as um, you would just clean up your whole recording with a couple of mouth uh, mouse clicks or you could just uh, look for particular parts in your uh, audio recording and select them and then apply the click removal tool just to those parts so let's try the first method right as you can see it doesn't remove all of the move clicks completely it just slightly attenuates it you can make the the settings a bit harsher so they find more mouth clicks and they are more persistent at removing them. But uh, if you overdo it, it might uh, ruin your recording. So let's say I select m more sensitive settings. If mouth clicks. Right, you can see, you can hear it in from your recording using Audacity. You can hear it. It completely destroyed my audio. So you don't want to overdo it. In these two hundred and somewhere in twenty, the max spike. With these are already quite harsh settings, and I wouldn't go any further. So yeah, that's one way of dealing with them. Uh, another way, as I said, you can just select the move clicks, and then you may even go with the harsher settings, since you know you're only affecting the the, the part where the move click is apparent, and then apply it. It won't completely remove the move clicks, but it will drastically attenuate them. So. So that's the longer version. If you have uh, a very short recording such as this one, I would go through each mouth click and apply the uh, click removal uh, effect onto it. But if you have a very long recording, I would rather instead just select the whole recording, apply quite soft parameters into, into um, click removal tool and um, and with a single press of the button that would attenuate mouth clicks significantly 
So that's pretty much it.